No. Back to the Gaskins and Steven Show. Broadcasting from the Copple Chevrolet GMC Studios. John Gaskins. <laughs> Tom Steven. Hey, everybody, listen up. All sports, only sports on FM 93.7. The ticket, the Gaskins and Steven Show. I'm Tom Stevens. He's Josh Harvey of Big Red Report and BigRedReport.com. In for John Gaskins today, and we welcome Johnny Rogers. Nebraska Hall of Famer, college football Hall of Famer, pretty good player, won the Heisman. Pretty solid. And uh, now he has his own award coming up. It's the Johnny the Jet Rogers Award. Johnny, welcome. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, this is Tom and Josh? Yes, it, it sure is. is. Yeah, you guys are pr- pretty pr- pr- pretty good hosts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate the compliment. <laughs> Maybe we should start a trophy of our own. Yeah. Well, well, oh, oh, you're pretty good. You can do that. That's all you need to be. Well, we're never going to win good, the. You know. We're never going to win the Johnny the Jet Rogers <laughs> Award. It's too late for that. What gave you the idea for this trophy? Well, what gave me the idea was that uh, I have a youth foundation, and we're trying to help uh, a lot of our youth here in Omaha, Nebraska, because we have the poorest uh, uh, black families here in the, in the, in the country. And our, our kids are number three in poverty and we're only graduating one out of 10 in Omaha public schools. And uh, so you have to be self-sufficient and try to find ways to help yourself in your own community. And so I thought this might be a good idea that I could use to help not only the community for the kids and their programs, but also give a uh, notoriety and attention to, um, uh, uh, to Omaha, Nebraska, where we already have that Outland uh, trophy that's given out here, and we have the Remington uh, in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, uh, and it would also give uh, attention to my uh, accolades at the University of Nebraska, where uh, our team, uh, the 71 team, was voted uh, by um, Sporting News Magazine this past uh, October as the greatest college football team of all time. So when you can find an idea that's a win, 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 uh, everybody can win off of it, uh, then it, it, it might have legs, and we thought it would be a, just, a, just a big idea. Johnny, I'm curious, how long has this project or this idea kind of been on your mind? Has it been, you know, something that you've thought about for a while, or was it something just a couple months ago that you, you know, kind of thought of? No, it's been on my mind here for, for years. Uh, I can remember thinking about four or five years ago uh, of uh, calling in and trying to figure out what it, what it needed to be sanctioned uh, if we did have an award as of such. Uh, and then uh, it kind of went by the wayside. You know, I have a lot of different projects going uh, all the time, and I have done, done things with Omaha Public Schools and for the youth, and I help out a lot of different charities here in uh, Omaha, Lincoln, across the state uh, with things that they do, but it's just not enough. And uh, here in uh, past September, uh, Dan Jenkins, a uh, former uh, a great sports writer for the Sports Illustrated, who now uh, writes for the uh, the um, College Football Hall of Fame magazine, he did an article where he picked the top uh, uh, football players of all time. And he had four different teams uh, on them, uh, 11 uh, of the best players uh, ever uh, times four teams. And he had the Ba team, the uh, Tebow team, the uh, uh, several to four, four different teams. But the thing that I noticed different is he had a 12th man on each one of those teams. He had uh, Billy Cannon, um, uh, Deion Sanders, uh, Joe Washington, and myself as the uh, kick returners. And so I thought if, if he was going to give uh, the kick returners that type of credibility along with the greatest uh, players of all time, that they would have the greatest kick returners, then uh, this was the time that to make the move to actually establish an award. And all of those guys, Billy Cannon, uh, Joe Washington, uh, Deion Sanders, and myself, uh, would all fit that 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 uh, credible enough to establish an award. So I thought we'd better get busy since I've been thinking about it a while, and and that we need uh, that visibility here in Omaha because we want to be sports capital of the world right here in Nebraska, and uh, and we have an opportunity to do it. So with the credibility that Dan Jenkins has uh, has given me, and and just last year, like I said, we got uh, the credibility for that uh, the seventy one team. And I've taken the run from the game of the century uh, and depicted it into the trophy uh, because it had the most visibility uh, to be the uh, flagship of what we would use to promote the uh, the return specialist award. Johnny, how far back are you going to go uh, to 
award guys. Are you going to go back to the 50s and say this guy would have won it in 1950 and through 50 or through 1960? How, how are you going to work that? Or, or are you going to we're gonna, just we're start gonna go with go back to 1959 with Billy Cannon, and then we're going to do 10 uh, awardees at a time uh, each year. So for the next five years, we're going to do about 50 or so uh, to try to catch up uh, to acknowledge those guys and give them recognition and trophies. Uh, uh, for so because they deserved it, but they never really had one, and uh, until we actually bring it up to date. So uh, this next year coming, we would do uh, uh, start with Billy Cannon, 1959 and 1969, and then uh, 69 to 79, which would mean that I would be uh, uh, up for and uh, would be possibly voted uh, for um, at that particular time. I could receive an award. Uh, as well, then we move on to each each year uh, ten guys as we go on. You're going to win your own award, right? Well, I only have this time. I get to pick the award for the winner, <laughs> uh, but the next time I have to be voted uh, in by the uh, the panel, the jury that we'll be setting up on a national basis. Uh, I have a, a few more stats than Greg Pruitt, so I might beat him. <laughs> <out there. laughs> Plus, he missed the tackle. Talk, you can't give I it to him. I talked to Greg this morning and. Uh, I wanted him to not just to hear from uh, the news media that I had uh, I put a picture on him uh, uh, in the trophy. I told him that I used the uh, the uh, the run of the, uh, the run from the game of the century on my trophy. And he said, uh, "What do you mean? Did you have a picture of me missing you?" I said, "Well, Greg, you guessed it." <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, "But what he said was, he said there is that something good and something bad comes out of everything." He said, uh, "My coaches told me to, to break down and." Uh, and always, uh, you know, go under control. But you were talking so much mess to me, you knew I was coming, and I missed. But when I went to the NFL, uh, I took that in consideration, and every single person that came down on me and did the same thing I did, I made them pay, JR. I made them pay. You said a, a national panel. Uh, will that just be media members? Will that be former players? Uh, what will kind of make up that panel? Well, uh, I don't have all the say, but right now it will be former uh, be media people uh, that are going to be involved. Uh, it will be former players uh, and, and some of the winners uh, that would be involved. And we'd also have a position in there for one vote for all of our Facebook fans that could vote on it and one vote uh, for all the Twitters. Uh, they would have a vote uh, on, it, on it as well. Well, I know you're going to award the 2011 winner. Who's up for that, and when's the ceremony coming up? Well, the uh, the uh, 2011 winner has been just announced today, uh, and it is actually Joe uh, Adams uh, from uh, Arkansas. And uh, the dinner for the awards dinner is going to be April 12th at uh, at Anthony's Restaurant on 72nd and F. And for those that who are interested, they can go to our website on thejetaward.com. That's T H E J E T A W A R D dot com uh, to get more information. And they can call Anthony's Restaurant at Seventy Second and uh, F Street for, uh, for for tickets. Johnny, I think this is a, a great cause, and I think uh, this is a great idea. I do want to ask you a little bit about uh, the current state of football. Uh, a lot of it has been made this off season about the the new rules change when it comes to kickoffs and and you know teams getting it at the 25 yard line and we we even talked to Nebraska's special teams coordinator Ross Ells at practice yesterday and he says they they have to keep an open mind now and maybe sometimes not return as many kicks if they're so deep in the end zone because of that extra 5 yards kind of just what were your thoughts when you heard the of the new rule and and do you feel like it's good for college football well um the way I would look at it, if they, have to, if they put it to five yards closer, you're going to have to take it five yards deeper, and you get five more yards to run a longer touchdown. Uh, so it, it can, if they don't kick it out of the end zone, we, we just would have to, uh, to run it out. And uh, I hope that the, uh, more coaches take the same attitude as our coach at Nebraska, Cletus Fisher, took uh, when we were running uh, uh, the special team, is that it basically they gave the returner, which was myself, a green light, uh, to take them all back. Uh, you can't score. You can't do big runs like uh, in the game of the century or a big kickoff on the yard returns uh, if you don't run it. Um, and so uh, 